What's cracking, gang? It's your little homie, Elko Warren, and you know we up in the rock shop. All right, gang, your boy has been up all night, all day. Just giving y'all a quick rock shop chronicles, man. We got multiple projects going on. Uh, this is the finished product of one project. Uh, man, the undercarriage project was supposed to be finished up, gang, but I broke the damn gun and I, I paid the price to get a new one. And I've been waiting all day for AutoZone. You feel me? All day. So that project is on hold. Hopefully they'll, you know how they say, oh, we got one in stock and then it, it ain't in stock. So, but anyway, gang, so what I decided to go ahead and do is I flattened out the, you see that thing? I flattened out the, the panels and I sprayed that Tamco black with the uh, 2.0 tip high build. Hey, gang. This is going to turn out, for a homegrown backyard boogie, this is going to turn out clean. I was so excited, man. I forgot about my little panels. I was looking everything over, and I went, oh, man, I saw the uh, nut cert. I went, damn it. Yeah, these complete the look. You feel me? Those go, like, right there. And I can remove them if uh, I need to. So we're going to clean those up. Those don't need to be body work, gang. I probably just rattle can those with some... Uh, with some, uh, what is that? Some uh, chassis black, roll barn chassis from VHT. Just something. Because if I'm taking them on and off, they're going to get scratched up. So what the hell? But we will. Nah, I'm going to go ahead and do the whole system, man. After doing this with, uh, you know, block sanding, and I got the block sanding down now. I think I got it down. Still a little bit more practice, but I understand how to read the panel. I got... This section in here is so flat all the way around. You feel me? I was I was blown away about how flat it looked. And I sprayed, uh, when I was cleaning everything up, I sprayed uh, my alcohol on there. It's one of the three steps that I do is cleaning up I uh, with the cleanup. I use uh, Sprayway uh, glass cleaner. Then I use a uh, degreaser. And then I finish it off with... Uh, alcohol when you spray it on it you can see what it what the panel is going to look like and i was like no way but yeah gang what i'm going to do is i shot this out now my, my big homies that paint they're like make sure you reduce it when i go to spray the final primer uh i might reduce it but i like i like the orange peel so i want to shoot i want to flatten this back out this is already flat I just need to hit it with 400, 600, 800, and we golden. But I don't want to, I don't want to mess with this area. I want the orange peel to stay there because it's going to give it a, a different look. You feel me? So this will be flat and wet. This area in here will be flat and wet, and then surrounding it will be in the orange peel. See, and then that flows right into the orange peel down there. You see what I mean? This is actually going to get redone. This is redone, and it came out amazing, but I ran out of, uh, I ran out of, well, I ordered two of the wrong bottles, so the two bottles are tenable, and I picked up some tint that has uh, a flake in it, so I'm dying to see what that looks like, but up front, we look good, and what I wanted to do is, I wanted to create a line right here, all the way up, all the way over. You feel me? Now, all of this, all the way up up top there, all in here, is all going to be the uh, U-Paw, and it'll just flow into it. That's why I wanted to leave this with the uh, orange peel look. But, gang, let me step back. Now, what you're seeing here is a shadow. You see that line? It's not tiger stripes. It's a uh, shadow. Now, I sprayed a lot extra in this area because I had to work this where this and over here, I had to work right there because uh, that's where the uh, where I welded. And I got that perfectly flat. But I just put a little bit of extra there. I soaked it. That's where I first put it down there. First put it down there, sprayed, and I came back, put some more down. And then I sprayed the whole thing. It looks like I bumped up against it with the gun. But I'm not sweating that because this is where the weather stripping piece goes. But yeah, gang. And I think I missed. 
something back there. Yeah, gang, we uh, I'm really, really digging it. That Harbor Freight gun, you can get a decent paint job out of it, but I'm just using it for primer only. That's it. I'm actually going to get the uh, Eastwood gun. They have a, a nice gun that's really good for clears and uh, base coat. So we're going to go with that to spray. This is like 200 bucks. I'm, I'm just going to copy. But yeah, 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 yeah. I'm taking what I've learned here and I'll be applying when I got to redo this out here. I now see how to wet sand, how to flatten it, you know, what to look for. You feel me? It's like, oh, man, this has really been an amazing learning experience. And normally, gang, I, I don't like the, the stuff that I do. You know, it's a long, drawn-out process. The end results, I'd say 99% of the time, gang, they turn out really decent for a homegrown with, you know, backyard boogie with no formal training on any of this. Just watching a gang of videos, watching the homies get it in and saying, man, I'm going to give it a shot and take my time. And that's why my videos are so long, gang, because I take if you look through my videos, I take you through every step, me opening the packages, me, everything. You feel me? So you kind of get a user experience of what it is to go through this project. Am I doing this right? Maybe not. But I'm getting the end result that I want. You feel me? And uh, I'm really digging the way this turned out. This is no filter. These panels are flat, trust me. They are flat as hell. That block sanding I did. See, it's been me trying to figure out what to look for. And now I saw it and I went, oh, man, the guy code tells you everything. It shows, oh, see those little bitty, that area, That's that means it's lower. I need to sand it a little. And I wasn't tripping and worried about burning through because I had multiple coats of, uh, you know, the 2K or the uh, high build from uh, you, Paul, on there. Yeah, gang. And this is two coats. We're going to put one more coat on this. And after that, that's when we're going to reduce it, possibly. No, nah, I'm not even going to reduce it, gang. I'm just going to flatten it out in these areas. If I wanted everything to be sanded, then I would reduce it so that it sprays out real creamy. And what I mean by that is it's going to spray out like, this sprayed out really creamy, really smooth, really, that's out of a can. And that's, uh, hell, 13 years old, gang. <laughs> and it's still in primer. But that's how this primer will spray out when I reduce it. I like the orange peel because I want it to flow into that. So this isn't going to be a lot of hard work to flatten back out. It's already flat. It'll just be knocking down the orange peel in this area, this area, this area here, here, and this uh, area in the center here. There's a design there that looks like this. So, yeah, kind of like how this looks. Feel that raised area is? Yeah, so we gonna, that's going to be smooth with the orange peel around it in high gloss. I think that's going to be a crazy, crazy look. Uh, yeah, gang, so sorry about that i was hoping to have multiple videos going on uh we did finish up the and it turned out great gang another long video just taking you step by step by step by step because somebody out there is trying to figure out how to bring ac back in that has a welded in firewall now peeps ask me well why didn't you just get the uh the, the sure fit kit and i go well you obviously haven't been watching my videos I just welded in the AC delete plate. I'm not about to cut that out to put theirs in. So I had to go with Gen 2. The Gen 2 is what was going to be put in this car because uh, back in 20, 2009, the shop that dropped the motor in, they damaged the AC box. And I was like, ah, don't worry about it. I'll put a Gen 2 in it. You feel me? So we just revisited what we were going to do over there. We just did it over here first. Now, her 79 will have the uh, Gen 4 SureFit kit. It is a simple plug-and-play, drop-in, everything drop-in. The, the, the whole system comes with everything you need. I'm piecing this together. You feel me? So I had to figure out how to mount it. The mounting system for the Gen 4 is completely different from what, what you get here. This is a universal setup, so I had to figure it out. And we got it dialed in, and I'll show you everything I did in that video. But yeah, gang, 
I'm thoroughly loving this. For what we did on the U Paul, that looks amazing. I can see I got some of the primer over here. But yeah, gang, I am loving it. I was gonna drop my pieces back in, but I don't wanna mess nothing up. So, plus I got the, uh, that's the uh, sound damp. I'm using that so no paint gets up inside. But yeah, gang, here we go. Just a quick little, little vid, let y'all know what's going on. Uh, looks like AutoZone's not gonna have the gun, so all good. We will get that project finished up later. But yeah, it's your little homie up in the rock shop doing what we like to do best, gang. Rep 80s and most definitely keep it Chevy.